Okay, now I'm going to talk about what's called absolute value. <clears throat> absolute value, the definition is the distance from zero. You can kind of think of it as a directional thing. Like if I said um, my school was 10 miles from my house, then I don't know if that means 10 miles east or 10 miles west of my house or 10 miles north or 10 miles south. But either way, it's still 10 miles. It's not like it's 10 miles east and negative 10 miles west. It doesn't matter. The distance from my house is a positive value. It's the same thing with absolute value. The distance has to be positive because we're just talking about how far away it is from zero. And you indicate it with two bars. That says the absolute value of 15. Okay, so what this is asking, if I say, what is the absolute value of 15? You're thinking to yourself, how far is 15 from zero? It's 15 units. So the absolute value of 15 is 15. Now, what if I said, what is the absolute value of negative 15? Well, then you're thinking, how far away from zero is negative 15? Well, it's also 15 units. It just happens to be on the other side of zero. But you don't say it's negative 15 units away. You just say it's 15 units to the left instead of 15 units to the right. Just like saying my house is 10 miles from work uh, or from school versus negative 10 miles from school. That doesn't make any sense. So the absolute value of negative 15 is also 15. When you take the absolute value something of something, what you get on the outside of it will always be positive because distance is always positive. Okay, so with that definition, we're just going to practice a few um, different kinds of problems. What if I said, what is the absolute value of 5 minus 10? Now, we're going to be talking more about order. Sorry, my nose itch is not picking it. I'm just itching the outside. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking about the order of operations in another um, lesson here pretty soon. But uh, the absolute value brackets are considered a grouping symbol. So we want to do stuff inside of there before we do anything else. So we're going to first do 5 minus 10, which is negative 5. And then we're going to be taking the absolute value of negative 5, which means how far from 0 is negative 5? And that answer is 5 units. Okay, now if I did something like this where I said... Um, this, on the outside of any grouping symbol, whether it was parentheses when we were distributing or absolute value brackets, if you don't see a symbol, it's always multiply. So this is saying 3 times the absolute value of 6 minus 10. Just like I said, we'll review the order of operations in a little bit, but a grouping symbol like parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, the old PEMDAS from seventh grade, um, means you're going to go inside the brackets first and do 6 minus 10. Well, 6 minus 10 is negative 4. Then you're going to take the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4. And then you can finally multiply. Multiplying would be the last thing that you would do. Okay, now sometimes it gets a little tricky if you've got a negative on the outside of your bracket. Let's say I wanted to do this. Well, there's an invisible one right here. So this is technically, you can think of this as two different things. You could think of it as negative one, because there's an invisible one right there, negative one times the absolute value of negative 12. Or you can think of this on the outside as the opposite of. So I would think of this as the opposite of the absolute value of negative 12. That's how I would think of it. But you can certainly think of it as negative 1 times the absolute value of negative 12. Anyway, we do what's inside the brackets first. So the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. Absolute value of negative 12 is 12. And then we want the opposite of it. So it becomes negative 12. Okay, what if you had something like this? And you just got to start being really careful about your negatives and positives. Okay, this is the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3. This turns it back to a negative 3. 
So absolute value of negative three is three. This turns it back to a negative three. So I want the opposite of three, which is negative three, minus the absolute value of six is six. Negative three minus six, you gotta remember your rules of integers when you're subtracting, that becomes plus a negative six, which is negative nine. All right, I think that should be enough for you to get through the assignments on absolute value. We'll be doing a lot more with absolute value later in this course, but for now, we're basically just evaluating like I just explained.